Hello and welcome to another Tech Talk demo. And I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Hi, our Lawrence. resident technical expert. Hey, Albert. Good to see you. Yeah, fantastic. Um, nice background we have here in Monaco, right? I mean, as views go, this is pretty special. But I think as demonstrations go, <laughs> yes. this is pretty cool. That's true. Um, it's obviously a side pod, yep. of course. Um, it sits roughly where the driver sits, right down to the rear wheels. Yes. What do they do, <laughs> effectively? <laughs> That's a good question, to be honest. But mainly what uh, the function of the side pod is to cover all the cooling system we have here with the radiators, the exhaust, the engine, even a little bit the gearbox to cover them, to control the flow that is going inside okay. with all the hot air that is going out from the radiators, from the engine, but also to try to control the flow that is going around the car to make the most of the benefit in aerodynamic terms. Now, the Ferrari is very different, isn't it, to yeah. any other side pod concept? Can it you is. explain why? It is. We, we still have the concept of the Ferrari, not now the, the zero side pods from Mercedes yep. here in Monaco, <laughs> that disappeared. Uh, but uh, Ferrari has uh, kept the concept that it started and they fit it on the cars with a new uh, regulation from last year. Uh -huh. That's an upgrade. It is an upgrade uh, that is more slightly packed, slightly uh, closed and packed to the engine and to the chassis. Yep. But oh, the yeah. concept is still the same with this deep area in the middle. And uh, with this long area, with a curved uh, surface that it makes it very special. And I would say, very nice. It is. It, it looks beautiful, because I really like this sculpted, scooped area. But there's one area that has created a lot of controversy, and that's down here. Oh, yeah, 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 Lawrence, you spot it on perfectly. Because <laughs> you see, there is like a little inlet in this area. I will turn around a little bit the side pod so you can see it from the front. We have the inlet for the side pods. And then we have this hidden in inlet that you spot it on correctly, that it arises a little bit of controversy. Do you want to see what is everything doing around the side pod? Well, I'm intrigued to know why they're so keen to have it <laughs> yes. and why it was so controversial. And the yep. good news is we've got this cool little machine. Yes. Do you smoke? I do not smoke. You, you do smoke now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, thanks for warning. <laughs> okay. Okay. So right. let's let's blow first the smoke around the cooling inlet. So all the air that is going in this area, in the big inlet, is moving through the radiators and is cooling water, oil, hydraulic, anything that is needed for the team. Let's blow some smoke. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So the air is coming here. It's going through the radiators. And we have also exits at the back of the car and also in these slots around the side of the side pod. So it's very streamlined, isn't yeah. it? It really hugs the car. And now here we don't have the power of the air when the car is running on the track, yeah, so course, it will yeah. speed up everything down the car. But it, it is interesting how uh, Ferrari has done all these slots here on the side and also these exits here on the top to try to uh, make this cooling effective. We need to cool down the car, otherwise we are, uh, we are we have a big problem. But then to try to move all this hot air, yeah. turbulent, slow air, hot air that we don't want to on the aerodynamics, to put it in the middle of the car around the uh, rear uh, wing. The air can go right underneath the car, underneath the side pod, yeah. right? So let's see if I can do a good job of this. Uh, to try to maximize all the clean air, we will see that the air is going through the side pod as attached as possible to the side pod, to the surface of the side pod. It's very important to keep the clean air attached to the side pod and go to the rear on the top of the, of the diffuser yep. and try to uh, get rid of the wake that is coming from the tire, but also on the boundary layer. The boundary layer is important on Formula One aerodynamics is the, the layer of air that is as close and is touching the surface. Got you. At some times become slow, becomes turbulent, so we need to get rid of. But let's see what are they doing. They're trying to keep all the flow around the side pod. So that's very important cool. in terms of, of the behavior of the car. But let's uh, blow smoke on the uh, inlet that you spot on correctly at the beginning okay. on this area, and let's see where it goes. What is the outlet of this? Okay? Okay, let's go. Let's try. Oh, you see? This way. So Ferrari, what is trying with this? To try to get rid of all the little turbulent air that is coming around the chassis, that boundary layer that is slowing down and could affect the behavior of the flow that is going uh, around the side pod and put it in an area where aerodynamics is not that important because we have a lot of uh, hot air and yeah. uh, air that is dirty already, probably turbulent, that we don't want to affect the behavior of the diffuser. Now, obviously, yeah. Ferrari would have checked this all with the FIA, wouldn't they, to make sure it was in compliance, and it is, because they've been quite clever. They've gone to like the maximum boundary that they can take the exactly. dust. Exactly. You're right there, because there is uh, the car is made from volumes, and uh, this could not be legal 
if it was on the on the side pods. Got yeah. Okay. But it's on the volume that is allowed to build the chassis. So in the in the mid chassis volume, they added this inlet and this outlet. And I don't know. Maybe inside they have a little radiator. The regulation says you have to cool something, but they don't say how much big must be the radiator. It could be a sensor. It could be electronics. Yeah. A, mo a small electronic box, you don't know what they're calling. You want to see what is going on inside? Let's turn it around. Okay, awesome. So we've got a really good view about yeah. just inside here. So tell me, this is the radiators. I was asking you this yeah. beforehand. So these are the radiators and that's what keeps not just this part of the car, but other parts of the car cool. Exactly. The engine, gearbox, hydraulics, all the power units elements are cooled by radiators or cooler systems that intercoolers that are on this area. This is a small one, obviously, yeah. but it's uh, quite representative of what the, car, the teams has, uh, have inside to cool down the air. So the air is going through the radiator, is the temperature of the water that is inside, oil or whatever it is, is going down, and the hot air is going, you see, next to the engine. We have the engine here. Which is very hot, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Exactly, it's very hot, <laughs> and it's uh, blowing hot air as well, all this area that is going out of the car at the back where the rear wing is. Awesome. So you want to blow the air? I want to get the fog going again, yeah, definitely. Right, okay. do, it, do it again through the radiators, the main inlet, the yeah. big one. So we see that the air is going through here and it's going all around next to the, the power unit, to the back of the car, exiting as well on the top through the, this, <laughs> this is lots, and having a, a good idea of how, what the air is, is doing. But the important one, this is a guess. This is, I, I did it, I guess. I, I, there's no images, we cannot see what's going on inside because this is inside the chassis, so I've never seen how the duck is. It's my and guess. And we, we'll never get that chance because no. teams want to keep it secret, don't exactly. they? Exactly, <laughs> so we know that there is an inlet and an outlet. What is going in? I don't know. I just uh, build it as is, okay. as it is. It's a guess. Maybe it's close, it's not, it's far. I don't know. But maybe someday they will say, oh, man, <laughs> you are wrong, probably. <laughs> in this and, in, and other things. But <laughs> I'm sure. Do you want to try to blow the air? Yeah. So we will see that the air is coming all this uh, okay. duct. It's like an S-duct. You remember the S-duct of the yes, noses? Yes, I see. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. similar. The cut side is on something similar. Let's, let's go for it. You see, the air is going all through this, this duct and it's going out cleaning the turbulent air that is attached to the chassis at the front of the car. And it's, it's all these different inlets will all combine to try so, and give that overall pitch and that overall performance game in, to, in total. Yes. I've asked to many engineers of many teams about this question and they all think that it's not a game changer. So okay. they, they don't think that it's a massive difference, but maybe on this concept, it helps a lot to keep the airflow as attached as possible to the side pod on the side and it's, it's cleaning a little bit the aerodynamics on. So do you think it's a concept that maybe Ferrari are going to stick with then going forward? Lawrence, there is two things. We don't know if it's exactly the problem they have. I don't think so. And the okay. other main thing is the cost okay. cap. Because yeah, to change the concept like this, as uh, Mercedes did, you need to change the cooling system. Maybe you need to change a lot of parts and change the completely full concept of the car. Yeah. And it's not cheap, and you know that they're limited for the expenditure. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> for sure. Have to wait Can't spend too much money. Um, right, Albert, well, it's a pleasure. It Thank you very much Thank you uh, very for much. explaining all of that. And we're going to do this again very, very soon next time out in yeah, Spain. Yeah, you, you like the machine? Let's get going. Oh, yeah. geez. I'm definitely time. not going to take up smoking, though. It does though. a cheap wind tunnel. Maybe we Albert. can advise the... Oh, look, the fairman is... Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not needed. Uh, pas problème, pas problème, monsieur. Monsieur, pas problème.